How to create interesting tiles using symmetry, using symmetry brushes in Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, I'm just going to create a document with uh, 1000 by 1000. You could, of course, create 2000 by 2000, up to you. So once you've actually created that, that new document, just go to the brush tool, select that, and then just go and select the brush. Now, I'm using one of the wet media brushes. And once you've done that, just go over there to that little mirror symmetry option there and go for the mandala and just select that and set the symmetry to eight segment count to eight because I want a symmetry design so I'm just going to create a tile so click OK once you've done that now when you apply the brush you can see the brush stroke applied and now wherever it does that's a symmetrical tile you could actually define the pattern at this point and at that point it's a lovely tile so now I'm just going to change the color and apply again brush strokes. I'm using an art pad and pen, but you could of course use just a standard mouse. And you can edit and define pattern at any point. And it's a standard seamless tile pattern. You can also go to filter, other, and offset and set the horizontal to whatever you want, minus 200 I've got in this case, etc. 200, but wrap around, that's the key thing, wrap around. Make certain that's on. And you see that's wrapped around there. Click OK. And once you've actually done that, Again, you can just go to edit and define pattern at this point and save that. You can do it all the time just to save all the various progress through the pattern. So you can just create all kinds of interesting designs. Now, once you've actually done that, you can go to layer and new fill layer and pattern. Click OK at this point. You don't have to give it a name or anything. And you can set the scale. I'm going to go for like 25. You can go like for 50. But the key thing is don't move the layer. Don't move it anywhere. So it's still at this point can actually be so just don't shift it or anything just click OK with that 25 and you can actually define that as a pattern if you want as well you can just actually flatten the image just by the there layer and now I'm just going to add some additional colour once I've actually flattened it and obviously it's now just apply the brush stroke again again what I want to use is the symmetry again so go over to symmetry again use the mandala and go for 8 Click OK and now click OK and now you can apply the brush strokes. And you can apply, obviously you can use a different brush. You don't have to use the same brush. You can use all kinds of brushes. You can see now the design again. Now that's still symmetrical. You can just, now I'm using black. And again I can go to edit and define pattern. Click OK. And again, that will still be a lovely and I'm going to go off, offset here use the filter in the offset so minus 200 minus 300 doesn't particularly matter you can see move it around again the key thing is wrap around click OK and edit and define pattern click OK and again if I go to layer and new fill layer and pattern Click OK, again, not given a name, you can actually see the design there, you see the design actually in the panel. And again, you can set, say, that to 25, 50, whatever you want. And you can see, again, it's the top. Just don't move it at this point. If you actually want to continue to define it as a pattern, just don't move it. So you can flatten the image just by the layer menu. And again, go to filter, and you can offset and do all that sort of or you can just go to the brush tool again, again go to the symmetry, mandala again, set it to 8. Unfortunately it doesn't actually remember it, so you have to keep doing it every time. And once you've got that, click OK again, and just go through the various steps. And now just apply the brush strokes, change the colour if you want. So you just apply the different colour. See then, you've got that. And again, you can actually at this point, you can just quickly go and go to the edit menu, and define it as a pattern again. Edit there and define pattern. Click OK. Filter, other and offset again, and you can keep the same values you want. Click OK and then edit and define pattern again. So you can just keep doing this over and over and over again, creating more and more complex patterns just by using that combination of the new pattern layer, click OK, again 
Click OK at that point, set the value if you want, 25, maybe 50. Don't have to go for 25, you can go for, say, for 50. And you can move it around there. Once you're actually finished, once you're happy, you can actually move it around. Click OK, and then you can just finish off. What you can do, flatten the image, and now what you can do, just go to, say, Render and Stylize, whatever, and use Oil Paint, click OK. Set the various settings. I always love pushing them up to the limits. So you've got that. You can zoom in there and just see the design. Just go for maybe auto tone, adjustments, levels, and tweak it slightly depending on what you want for the end result. And there you have the design using the combination, say, of the symmetry tool in the brushes. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.